ओम सर्वे भवंतु सुखिना है सर्वे संतु निरामय लेट एवरी वन बी हैप्पी लेट नो वन सफर फ्रॉम इलनेस रेस्पेक्टेड चेयरमैन साहब रेस्पेक्टेड डेप्टी चेयरमैन इसमें है ये मेरा नहीं है इधर से है क्या प्रोफेसर सड़कोपन जी वेरियस मेंबर्स ऑफ द स्टाफ एंड माय डियर यंग फ्रेंड्स मैं बम्बई से आता हूँ इन बम्बई देर इज ए थर्टीन ईयर ओल्ड बॉय एंड ए फोर्टीन ईयर ओल्ड बॉय वो हैव मेड नेम दिस डेज 14 year old angad daryani ninth standard student he has made a 3d printer which iit bombay has purchased and he has done various innovations for the blind people there's one more 13 year old boy tilak mehta he is earning 2 crore per day sorry per uh, per month through his uh, innovative idea the ecosystem already existed in bombay nobody had tapped it and the way he has tapped it it is helping people to send their parcels from one side one end of bombay to another end within 24 hours in fact within 8 hours he is using the dabba walas to carry these parcels from place to place it has enabled so many people business people bombay <coughs> and we are now living in a new age of young indians in the year 20 that is 2020 2021 2022 and these months of 2023 bharat has produced the maximum number of unicorns unicorns are all innovators any society any country that has five eyes will leap forward in the years to come all these unicorns are going to make they are going to play game changer in the years to come and therefore india will be on top of the world innovations institutions inspirational examples individuals and infrastructure these five eyes will make in all these five india is rising very fast and therefore india has a very bright future but as you grow higher and higher and higher the people who ruled you for 200 years are going to become more and more and more jealous anyway i have two uh, things with me here is one special type of mask made by a young scientist from mumbai it has got the following characteristics it is anti fungus anti bacteria anti virus because there are nano particles then for the soldiers fighting in galwan or in rajasthan desert in summer it becomes cool in winter it becomes hot we send these uh, samples to various parts of the world in italy and france they all have come back and said no fabric in the world can match this please come over here we'll make you a unicorn multi billionaire within one year but he says i love my india i want to be here here is one more path breaking innovation many of us find it very difficult to put inside the ear lobe and listen for hours together and for the this is have bone conductivity so far this bone conductivity existed only in textbooks for the first time a young person from amdavad has made it happen we have tested it on more than 1000 deaf persons and they are now able to talk to each other 
they are able to hear, they are able to talk, they are able to communicate and they become normal. There are seven types of deafness. It answers to at least five types of deafness. Okay, now we'll get to the This is not the first page. मेरे पास कुछ नहीं है। उधर है। This is not the first page. No, I can't see that. Okay. <coughs> if I can come to the first page, आज subject है wellness and we'll go through these slides very fast. क्योंकि slides I'll be leaving here. You can again say and when question answer comes, we can talk next. Next page. Next. Uh, <clears throat> in wellness, we can think of a few names of the ancient people and few names today. Yalla Prakada Subara, in 1948, he should have got at least two Nobel Prizes. The medicine that he made for cancer is still being used in the labs. He comes from a very, very humble background. LASIK eye surgery, millions of people, their eyesight has been, they have gained their eyesight thanks to Dr. Ranga Swami Srinivasan. His statue exists in American Hall of Fame. Hardly any people here in India know him. Any, next. In health science from ancient time, not only we had yoga, we also had Siddha, we had Ayurveda, we had various types of uh, uh, food habits. So here we can see for backache, then uh, diabetics, then uh, acidity, stress. Coming to stress, 500 Indians commit suicide every day, not all of them because of poverty. Majority of them are not able to handle the stress of their life and therefore they are committing suicide. And we are sitting on a gold mine and uh, facing this crisis. Next. Mudras, for people who say that we are traveling all the time, we don't have time to do normal physical asanas, mudras are an excellent way of doing it. Okay. Then we have pranayam. If you can find a separate place, you can do this pranayam anywhere, anytime. Different uh, pranayams are possible. Especially Anulom Vilom, you can do any time of the day, before meals, after meals, etc. Especially if you are going for any test, physical or mental test, any blood test, better to do a few rounds of Anulom Vilom, you will be very happy and facing it without stress. Next. Then in Ayurveda, Siddha, then intermittent fasting, my grandmother will be knowing more about fasting than most of us. And one person in Japan, he proved that intermittent fasting improves your immune system and he got the Nobel Prize, though it, this practice is there in India for thousands of years. For the students, one of the best exercises is super brain yoga. In America, they charge huge uh, money they make out of it. In Tamil Nadu, every time there is an exam, when the students are going for exam, they will always be doing this in front of Lord Ganesha. That is the super brain yoga you can see, catching your ear lobe and going up and down. What is there in the ear lobe? This portion of the ear is connected to your brain. These days women are getting more marks than boys in most of the competitive exam. Why? Because they have pierced their ear and something is hanging from there. The more and more you trigger this point, more and more you are becoming intelligent. Next. Uh, <coughs> Our India has also given on the mental plane various yogas, the Karma Yoga, the Bhakti Yoga, the Jnana Yoga and the Raja Yoga. And I'll come to one person there. 
Abdul Karim Jabbar. In Bas here in India, everybody is crazy after uh, cricket. <coughs> but in USA, it's basketball. He was one of the greatest players playing for Lakers. And he says, I've stopped running. I do only yoga. And he has advised various sportsmen, don't run, walk, or you do yoga. So many of them have come back to normal yoga practices. Here is Abdul, he is running a studio on this. Then we have the next is a tennis player, Novak Dokovic. So many players, so many celebrities in the uh, Hollywood, they have been the propagators of yoga. Next. Now people say we are very busy, where is the time to do yoga? Various prime ministers and presidents, I don't think that we are more busy than them. But we have something to learn from them. Dmitry Medvedev was once the president of USSR, that is, uh, sorry, Russia. Then he, is, he was the prime minister also, and still he's active in uh, Russian uh, politics. His famous sentence is, I want to see, I want to turn Russia upside down. What is that? He says, as the president of Russia, I had to meet various uh, personalities of the world. The time schedule is unpredictable. I cannot force it tomorrow whether I can have lunch peacefully. So the working hours are also very long. So how to cope up with the stress? Some people would say, after office hours, go to a club, go to a nightclub, go for alcohol, drinks, vodka. He said, I tried all this. Go for swimming. Everything I did, but I could not come out from the stress because if I do all these things on a Sunday, Monday I am not able to attend to my work peacefully. Finally, I reached yoga. And one of the yoga is headstand. If you stand upside down, the blood will flow to their brain. You can't do it for a long time. A few minutes is enough. He said, then I become so fresh, I want to put the whole Russia upside down. On a tree there were several, uh, you know there's an animal called bat, B-A-T bat. It will be always hanging from the tree. On 21st of June, one of those bat came and stood on the floor. All other bats said, hey, what has gone crazy to you? Why are you standing upside down? He said, today is 21st June, I'm doing Sarasasan. His way of doing Sarasasan. Now, Michelle Obama, she, she was the first lady, every year, during Easter holidays, she would invite 10,000 people and there to them she will be teaching yoga. She said, cope up your... In the days to come, tension is going to increase, especially for the executives, stress will be more and more. So in the school course, in the college course, how to cope up with stress should be taught because no matter which engineering you are studying, studying or management you are studying, stress will be a common factor and we have the answers for it. Then we have Prime Minister Narendra Modi, then we have Madonna. I'm just saying these are all very busy people. You can see Canada's Prime Minister, Justin Trudeau, doing one of the toughest asana, that is Mayurasan, very difficult, just balancing with two hands. His father, he was also Prime Minister of Canada and he was also expert in yoga. Okay, there you can see the last black and white one is that is one person who took yoga all over the world. Who are they? Two, lay, two persons of non-Indian origin who made yoga popular all over the world. One lady, her name is, she's from Hungary. Her name is Indira Devi. She was born in 19th century, she lived throughout 20th century, she died in 21st century. Very unique uh, such thing. Her name is Eugene Peterson. And she carried uh, yoga to all over the world and behind afterwards BKS Iyengar. Now you can see BKS Iyengar with uh, Yahudi Manuhin. Yahudi Manuhin is the, one of the greatest violin players. He had a big problem. He said, I have not been able to sleep for six months. So can somebody help me? So Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru said, I will help you. And uh, BKS Iyengar went and met him in Bombay. 
and he said, I have got only 10 minutes because press conference is going to start. So can you do something within these 10 minutes? He said, no problem. Just lie down and close your eyes and I will give you instructions. These instructions are so simple. This is called Yoga Nidra. I have tried it on many people. They will be snoring and sleeping. And many people have tried on me and I also cannot control snoring and sleeping. That powerful. Within few minutes this man was sleeping and uh, snoring. In six months a person who has never slept, his PA came to tell him that sir, all the people are waiting for you, you have to come out. When he entered the room he saw, for the first time this man is snoring, he said let him sleep. After some time when he got up, he thought that he has been sleeping for ages, for eons. He was only sleeping for 15 minutes, but that much energy it can come through this yoga. So you try to learn these things, it will help you a lot. And uh, here are the, I was talking about suicide. It's one of the fatal diseases of today's modern world. Here are some great people. When you say modern computer science, the name is Alan Turing comes. He committed suicide by taking cyanide. The next is Ernst Hemingway, a great writer. His books are all very famous. He committed suicide by shooting himself. Marilyn Monroe, in her time, she was the greatest Hollywood icon. And she took she committed suicide by taking a lot of sleeping pills. Virginia Woolf also is a great name in uh, literature. She also killed herself. Here we have Gurudath, Sushant Rajput. And only a few days before, Nitin Desai, who got four national awards in film industry and five filmfare awards, very rarely people will be getting so many awards, committed suicide on 2nd of August this year because they are not able to cope up with the stress. Okay. Next. Now spiritualism. What is the first law of spiritualism? Everything is related in this world. In your happiness, just now Birje was telling yesterday, in your happiness, in your success, lies my happiness and my success. We are all connected. We are not only interconnected, we are also interdependent. The world is now realizing this. Especially when with WhatsApp and Facebook, we are all connected. Slowly you will realize that we are also dependent. Then, continuous existence of the soul. Now you must just come down to here. The Divar picture you know, the elder brother was a smuggler. He had a lot of buildings, he had a lot of cars, he had a lot of bank balance. And the younger was, was a brother was a police inspector. And the mother chose to stay with the younger brother and not with the elder brother who was a corrupt person. Now the elder brother talks to the younger brother and says, Mama Samipe Bhavanam Masti, Yanam Masti, Vittam Masti. Bhavataha Samipe Kim Masti and what did the younger brother said? Mama Samipe Mata Asti that is spiritualism. Anything that takes you one step away from materialism takes you towards spiritualism. We lead lacks of ethical people but we lack ethical people. Okay, next. Now these are the people who sought Peace of mind and came to India. Which one should I explain? I do not know. I'll just take uh, Steve Jobs because everybody is using iPhone or some versions of what Steve Jobs gave you. At the age of 19, he had no aim because he comes from a very poor background. His father, Abdullah, had deserted him and his mother was not able to pay for his university fees. He himself was taking lunch and dinner at the Hare Ram Hare Krishna temple in, uh, in that area. So then he comes to India. Some people in Hare Ram Hare Krishna and around that some Indians told him, if you are having any problem, go to ashram of Neem Karoli Baba, that is Nainital. So he comes all the way to Nainital in 1974. Then he realizes that that saint Neem Karoli Baba who inspired him, who inspired Park Zuckerberg, who inspired so many multi-billionaires of the world, had left this world, attained Samadhi in 1973 itself. 
but is still his name his aura his influence is continuing so he, when he went there he thought though the swami ji is not there his aura is here his influence is here let me stay here for a few months he stayed there and then he traveled around india went back to america came back came with this new innovation called the apple iphone so you can see thoda ek minute same way julia roberts at her during her peak time 2002 she was earning more dollars or money than you put all the superstars of india together and she was at the peak of her uh, career she enjoyed life in the all the materialistic way all the bad habits she had she says with all that i could not find peace of mind then i went to the ashram of neem karoli baba and now i am extremely peaceful she named her children girl is mahalakshmi boy is krishna balram another is ganesha so we'll just keep all this we'll go to the next india is among the worst countries where infant mortality child mortality neonatal mortality are counted in children mortality out of 1000 children born 37 children die within the age of 4 or 5 so this is very bad even when you compare with sri lanka ours is very bad so other day uh, other speaker was also saying you know a few things are bad in india unless we correct all these thing gdp alone does not matter if you want to be strong you should be strong in the negative points also we should overcome so what can be done in 500 rupees you can save one child give him one napkin if a napkin is hanging and if the nose is leaking somebody or the other will wipe it for him then the bacteria will not spread and he will not die of pneumonia if you give a copper plates the water that they get in the villages when you turn hand pump also all polluted but all the scientists have said a copper plate when it is immersed in 2 hours it will become bacteria free same way if you have tulsi plants malaria that is mosquitoes will not infect that area then millets are the cheapest in india we call them sridhan they are very full of nutritious value so give them few bags of nutri uh, millets and turmeric powder which increases your immunity in the year 2004 there was another pandemic called sars sars severe acute Re respiratory syndrome worst affected was china and hong kong because it came from china and the nearest is hong kong and i was uh, i am a resident of hong kong i was staying there but they found one thing that hong kong has got so many nationalities all of them are admitted in the hospital but no indian why is it so they went on doing the research and in south china morning post of hong kong the headlines on the front page says indians use turmeric powder in their masala so they said indian food is giving you the immune system therefore they have not come here from next year onwards all the indian restaurants were flooded with non indians so we had to take food in some chinese restaurant anyway uh, and just this is for the youngsters how if you want to improve your intelligence level simple steps don't have to be have any college that has more number of full size mirror will produce more intelligent students if you can do one thing donate some full size mirrors to village areas where the schools uh, students are studying they will be become intelligent then donate a chess board a person who plays chess tell me the reason later on why it is so will never commit suicide he will never commit murders he will not engage in useless quarrels he will not fail in mathematics he will not fail in physics if you say see one thing the israeli population is 0.2% less than half a percent and there are only 70 lakhs in israel and 70 lakhs outside israel they have produced 20% of the nobel laureates in science related subjects i am not talking about peace etc which is all political but in science related gc 0.2% giving you 20% result on one side this is okay then you come to the chess winners in the last 
50 years. The chess winners may be from America, may be from Russia, may be from Romania, may be from Hungary. They may be from any part of the world, but they all happen to be Jews. Maximum number of chess champions, boys and girls, Jews. So on one hand, you have the highest number of Jews who are chess players and highest number of Nobel laureates. Now you tell me what we should be teaching in the universities. And he was talking about Haifa yesterday. Haifa is the center for chess champions and Haifa is the center for Nobel laureates. You must visit that also. Then I have written a, a mathematical tables. If you write it, the mathematical tables in the schools, the child will know second table through his her teacher. But the seventh table, seven ones are seven, seven twos are 14, without the teacher teaching, the child will know, it, the child will not know fifth table because nothing is written there. This is the power of visuals. Then if you have pond with a fish and all, the child will be more environment friendly, ecologically friendly. Same way, if you keep rabbits at the birds, the children growing in that school will be totally different from the other children. Then super brain yoga have already explained. Mm. Next. I think it's over. So I have told you some things in a cursory glance. I will see you in a few minutes.